It appears plans to split the St. James Police Division have been shelved. In 2016, the government indicated that plans were in place for the changes. But speaking recently, Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson indicated that dividing the police division would not be effective. September 2016, then Commissioner of Police Dr. Carl Williams indicated that plans were in train to split the St. James Police Division in two in a bid to better tackle the parish's crime problem. He said the move was to better enable the security forces to tackle scammers and criminals who have been operating across the parish. That was to be completed at the end of 2016 but wasn't. Fast forward to 2020. Is that still on the table? Commissioner of Police Major General Anthony Anderson says right now it doesn't make sense. The only time you're going to do that with the way that makes sense is if creating two headquarters. So remember, you know, what you're going to do is add another headquarters. is going to create such an effect that it's worth it. You won't necessarily get additional persons, so you know, splitting the persons you have in two spaces. So really, if you're doing it, it's really from a command and control perspective. The commissioner says his focus will be on strengthening the team in the division. What I need to do is give him the assets to be able to do this, and where he needs, where, where, where St. James headquarters needs reinforcing in terms of additional personnel uh, who bring uh, more planners, more uh, support to the headquarters, probably a bigger headquarters, but to split that into two, I'm not sure you're going to get the benefit on the ground from doing that. Meanwhile, police facilities have been a cause for concern across the island. Commissioner Anderson says they are working on making improvements. I don't think there is a, there are many uh, buildings that the police occupy that don't need something. But, you know, it's at different levels. We have some that are much worse. And those are the ones we have to focus on, even as we, we maintain these. Because one of the things with a number of our stations, as you see, you can see that all the furniture in there is a donation. Right, that is not acceptable. You need to buy furniture and put in a police station and furnish them properly to allow them to deliver service to the public. The, the one at Mount Salem, that one is going to be rebuilt. And I think the groundbreaking is next week, Friday. So, so there's that one. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News.